Hey guys, it's me Carrie, and this is the Kawaii Box Unboxing for March 2018. I just got back from a few days out of town, so this was waiting for me when I got back, and it's always fun to see my Kawaii Boxes arrive pretty quickly, which this one did, so hooray! If this is your first Kawaii Box Unboxing, and first time with my channel, of course, welcome to Persevering Star. Kawaii Box is a monthly subscription box full of all things Kawaii. You get fun Japanese and Korean and all sorts of Asian. You get a snack, you get stationary goods, you get sometimes plushies, sometimes squishies, all kinds of fun different little goodies. And it runs about 20 bucks a month if you do month by month, including world, free worldwide shipping. I will be posting my referral code in the drop box, which will get you $5 off your first subscription box. So it also helps save me $5 off a future box. So it's a win-win situation. You are under no obligation, of course, to use it. But if you do, I would appreciate it so much. And obviously it would be helpful to you too, because it'll save you $5. But anyway, this is what the boxes all look like. Cuteness overload, tips for the perfect unboxing. You can read all that if you'd like to. But this is the box. Oh, and it's Kawaii Easter. How sweet. You always get a cute little postcard. The back shows you what the contents of the box are, so I'm not looking at that on purpose because I like to be surprised. I'm trying to get this at a good angle so you can see. There you go. Now you can see the pretty colors of it. It's so cute. We'll go through the card at the end, but like I said, I like to be surprised as I go along. So it comes with this cute Kawaii box tissue paper. It has their logo in pink. And I looked like I saw something that looked like a s'more in there. So let's just dig in. I'm just going to try not to look and grab things one by one from the tissue paper and see. But that looks like a s'more. No, it is not actually a s'more. It is... Oh, it's a Rilakkuma. Well, I'm always happy to get Rilakkuma stuff. He's so adorable. He is a little egg character made by Sanrio. And it does say on the tag, Sanrio Original. So it's a little Easter Rilakkuma. Oh, he's a bunny. Oh, I dropped him. He's a little Easter bunny. And he's got some extra fluff on him, if you can see right there. He's not soft and squishy like the usual plushies are. He's like felty feeling. But he is very cute. He's got the cute bunny ears and there's a little ball chain to hang him off a purse or a backpack or a piece of luggage, whatever you choose. And again, there's his little tag, Rilakkuma Sanrio Original. And the tag is bent, which makes me sad because I want to put it in my junk journal. I still will, but I'll just have to flatten it out somehow. But he looks not too happy to be getting stabbed with those chopsticks there, but he's very cute. And he's got a little cotton tail even. So he's a little eggy bunny. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, item number two. Let me get my trash pal here. Item number two, let's dig in and see. We get, ooh, this is cute. It's like a little mini, not that mini. It's actually a pretty good size, but it's a little backpack. I guess supposed to be like a coin purse, but you could also put, you know me, you could put lip balm in there. You could put any kind of little trinkets you want to tote around with you. It says, food is justice. Just eat it. <laughs> That's really kind of cute. And it's got like a hot beverage with a little pink dollop of whipped cream or foam or whatever coming off the top. Or maybe it's a little dessert, actually. It could be like a little dessert cup, like a mug dessert. Um, there are the little straps. It's lavender, as you can see, with pink backpack straps and a little pink hook like that. And then it's got a split ring to hang it from and this nice big zipper. And you open it up, pull out the tissue, and inside it is just this kind of eh, meh color. But it's really spacious, so you could put a decent amount of stuff in there. You could even stick in like some Revos or if you collect, I mean, everything with me comes back to lip balm, but you could stick in some Revos, you could stick in some EOS lip balms, even Tsum Tsum uh, lip smackers would fit in there, a couple uh, easily, along with, you know, your cash or your credit cards or whatever else you might want to put in there. It's a, it's a good size. I know the lighting is wonky. I'm trying to get an accurate perspective of the color, but that's really cute too. Then, third item, you get, this is, that's very cute, not super useful to me because I have a ton of rulers, but it is a Hello Kitty ruler, 
if you needed a ruler, which, um, you know, I know Kawaii Box is probably designed more for younger people than 44, which is my age, but you're never too old for Kawaii stuff, I don't think. Um, it, I mean, it's always good to have a ruler, but this would be cute, like, for school, certainly. And it's got, like, this little button thing on the back. I don't know if that's designed to snap onto something, maybe. And it's also got these little stencils on the back, if you can see. I don't know how you would use them. Okay, this does just come. Oh, okay, I'm dumb. It opens like this. That's why that thing is on there. It actually clicks. So you get, a, you can do a scallop edge with paper. I guess if you, can you slide a piece of paper behind it? Let's just say this is an old Dollar Tree receipt. I don't know. And it doesn't really slide behind it fully. Maybe if it was just flat, I don't know. But you get like a little scallop edge in there. I guess this part is the scallop edge you're supposed to use. I'm so blonde today. And then you get all these cute little shapes you can trace. A triangle, a circle, a square, a star, this little wavy pattern, and a diamond. And it is in both metric and um, I don't even know what the other system is. Yeah, no, I think it's all metric, actually. It is. It's metric measurements because I don't see inches on there. So this is the metric system. But it is very cute, and that is why that little clippy thing is on there, so that it's on a hinge. So I would actually probably use it more for tracing the shapes and the scallop edge in my junk journal than the actual ruler part because I don't even know the metric system at all, clearly. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Millimeters, centimeters and millimeters, that's metric. It's cute. It's not my favorite thing, but... I mean, I could certainly see, like, you know, a student finding that useful. So you get that. And again, it's another Sanrio licensed item. So that's always nice because I'm a Sanrio girl from way back. Then you get, typically you get a writing utensil of some kind. I think in only one Kawaii box that I personally got, um, there was not a, either a pen or a pencil. But this one does have a writing utensil. It's a cute, cute, cute pink piggy. Pig, pink piggy. I'm saying piggy because piggies are usually pink. It's a pink kitty. And then on here, you see like, at first I thought that was like a giraffe neck, but it looks like a long cat paw reaching down. And it says, hide and seek. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm going to try to get it so where you can see it. Uh, maybe right there, I hope. And there's a little white paw at the bottom. But this is a pen. And it writes in blue oh that's cool a lot of the kawaii box pens tend to be black but it writes in blue and is a ballpoint 0.5 millimeter and it's very adorable i have two cats so i'm always cool with cat stuff next up we get this is huge oh man is this a uh it's a diy candy I am not personally a fan of DIY candy kits. I find them super confusing. They're usually, they usually don't have English directions. And in this case, once again, the directions are not in English. So you have to be able to either tr translate them or just figure it out based on the pictures. I'm not a fan. This I will probably pass on to someone in a friend mail or something or a gift because I, I know a lot of people absolutely love them. I just want my candy ready-made to eat. I don't find this process fun. It's challenging for me. Kids are usually way smarter than I am. Maybe I'll even save it for a future giveaway, we'll see, because these are like... I don't know if they're completely non-perishable, but I mean, I let's say October. Okay, it's good till October 23rd of 2018. So if I were to do another giveaway, say if I get to 1,500 subscribers before the expiration date gets close, which I would love to have happen, but who knows. Um, I'm going to hang on to that and say, or maybe again, friend mail, friend swap, whatever. Not into DIY candy kits. I know a lot of people really do love them though, so I can't say that's a terrible item. It's just not my personal taste. Okay, next up we have another stationary item. It looks like a really big, thick, 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 thick eraser. It's a little hamster and it's super cute. Or is that supposed to be? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be a hamster. Or maybe... I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a hamster. But look at how thick this thing is. This thing is really, really thick. And I guess you can get all of these different characters, potentially. There's a bear. There's a panda. There's what I think is a hamster. If you can kind of see on the sides there what the different characters look like, I would imagine that different people will have gotten different ones in their boxes or are, will be getting different ones in their boxes. That looks like a hamster to me, but I could be completely wrong. It could also be like 
a Shiba Inu yet again because it also kind of has Shiba vibes, but I don't know. The stripes on top, I kind of thought hamster, but it could be a dog. I don't know. Either way, it's cute. I don't really use erasers, but it's unique because it's really, really long. So if you actually were going to use it as an eraser, and it does have the design on both sides, you could use it for a long, 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 long time. And then, like, right when you have, like, a little sliver, just save the ends as a collectible if you wanted to. So it is actually unique in that regard and kind of special as erasers go. So that's not bad either. Again, a lot of school supply stationery type stuff more for kids in this box, I'm noticing, in this particular month. Okay, this one here is, hmm, it's a little plastic case, and it's got this cute little guy on the front, this little sticker stuck on top. But there's something in there. Are you freaking kidding me? They're earplugs. They are freaking foam earplugs. I legitimately just got back from a trip and I take earplugs with me in a little jar very much like this. Mine are purple. I swear to you. I'm going to grab my purple earplugs. They're little two white foam earplugs. My husband is a snorer and I wear earplugs to bed every night of my life. I kid you not. I'm going to go get you. I'm gonna, I could hit pause, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you. This is legitimately what I sleep with in my ears every night of my life since my husband and I have been together. I have this jar of purple earplugs. So that is actually something that probably no one else on the planet is really going to appreciate getting in the kawaii box, but I do because it's something I will honestly genuinely use. And the little container is just cute. I have a container that I keep them in now for travel and beside my bed, but this is way cuter. So I actually dig that. That's really kind of hilarious. All right, we're getting to the nitty gritty here, I think, guys. Next up, we have stickers. Oh, no, these are not stickers. Oh, I was hoping they were. These are little gift bags, which are cute. And again, I'm about junk journaling, so one will go in my junk journal. But I don't generally send gifts in paper sacks like this, so that's kind of a met item for me. They have like a scalloped edge on top, and the design is adorable. And on the front it says, Bonjour, every step I took since the moment I could walk was a step towards finding you. And that's very cute, and that'll go in my junk journal as well. I don't know. I do sell bracelets now through my Facebook page, Persevering Pretties. If you guys ever want to check that out, the link is always in the drop box. But maybe these would be cute to like put a bracelet in. I always send them in padded mailers as well, but I like to put them in something before the padded mailer. So maybe I would use them for that. I was hoping they were stickers though. I really like stickers so much better. Oh, there are stickers though. Good. Okay. Redeemed. Redeemed. And these are really, 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 really cute little whale and aquatic animal stickers. Oh, I love these. They're so cute. I know this light is crap. I apologize. It's getting really, really gray and cloudy. We're expecting snow again here in New York. But these are really sweet. I love these stickers so much. And I think that's probably it. Yep, and then you just get, like, a little card that gives information about how you could share your box on social media, and you could potentially win a Mega Kawaii box. I have never, I've always done it, but I've never gotten the box. And then this just talks about how you can share your referral code, and you will get $5 off your next box, and so will anyone who uses the referral code. So, again, if you are thinking of ordering it, I'd love it if you'd use my code, but you're, of course, under no obligation. So now we can go back and just go through the sheet together. Here's a shot of it. And if this is clear enough, obviously you can pause and just read through what came in the box. And there's a sweet little Hello Kitty in a bunny costume. Is that real Akuma? Yeah, little, little real Akuma in his shell up there. Another little bunny and the sweet little whale. But it says, Heart Sweet Jewelry DIY Gummy, which again, ugh, I'm just not a fan of DIY candies. Gutatama Easter Plush Charm, Sanrio Characters Ruler, Kawaii Pattern Envelope Set. So it's actually technically envelopes. I called them bags, but same difference, really. Cute Earplugs Kit, Wide-Eyed Nico. I always forget if it's Neko or Nico. Nico, I believe it is for the kitty. Nico ballpoint pen. Just eat it. <laughs> Mini backpack purse. Now I'm thinking of Weird Al. Just eat it. Just eat it. Ooh. 
Um, San X Jinbei Sand Stickers and the Kawaii Animals Eraser. So I know there will be some variants. Certainly, probably, certainly, probably, that makes a lot of sense. I would say almost certainly in the eraser. Like I said, I think that the different animals that were on the packaging, people will get variants in that. I think people will probably get different rulers. Not necessarily Hello Kitty, because it says Sanrio characters ruler, not Hello Kitty ruler. Um, the ballpoint pen may come in different colors and variants. They'll probably all be kitties, but I bet there'll be different color variants on that. Possibly variants in the stickers, although maybe not. Um, and maybe even like a different sticker, like on the top of the earplug thing. So overall, not my favorite box, but definitely not a bad one. There's some pretty, pretty cute stuff in here. I guess my favorite items would be, number one would be these stickers. I think these are absolutely adorable. I'm kind of digging the pen because, I, like I said, I do have two cats, so the kitty is really kind of sweet. And if I had to choose a third item, it would be this backpack. Even though it's kind of big to put on a handbag, on a backpack to put this little backpack would be kind of fun. Or potentially if you were just going out somewhere that you really just needed like a few basic things, although it would be too small for a cell phone, but like a wallet and an ID, some makeup or whatever, you could actually just like even clip this if you're wearing jeans, say, just clip it to your jeans and you wouldn't have to carry a handbag with you if you had a pocket for your phone. That's pretty cute. Those would probably be my top three favorite things. Least favorite things, the envelopes, just because I don't find them too particularly useful. The ruler, for the same reason. I mean, it's cute, and I do like the shapes you can trace, but I have so many rulers, and I don't use the metric system, so in terms of actually measuring things, I wouldn't really use that. And definitely my least favorite thing is the DIY candy kit, because I'm just not a fan of them. But I, like I said, I know a lot of other people really love them. And then, I mean, the Gucci Tom is cute, but I really wish it was plush and not felt. It just feels kind of cheaply made to be honest and the fact that there's like fuzz leaking out all over the place is not inspiring to me the eraser's cute but again you know I'm not an eraser collector so you know as a 44 year old woman it's not su super useful to me and I do actually like the earplugs too because again I'm one of the few people on the planet that will probably be excited about that because it is definitely something that I find useful in my daily life but anyway thank you so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this again my uh, link will be in the drop box. You're under no obligation to use it, but why not save yourself five bucks if you're going to try it out? And it would be doing me a favor too, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys.